Hi everyone, this is Space Toad, and this is the second Buildcraft Gate tutorial where I explain things very slowly for you guys that are not accustomed to logic gates and all this programming stuff. So, last time we talked about a uh, single gate that could react to a single event and could send a, a redstone output according to that event. Today we are going to talk about AND gates as well as OR gates. Let's get started. So as for the previous examples, I'm not going to explain to you how to craft this thing. This is going to be part of uh, an explanation um, at the end of the series, uh, but I'm going to um, use too many items get some gates, uh, need some pipes, I'm going to need some um, redstone, where is redstone? Over here, as well as, let's take a, let's take a chest for the purpose of this demonstration, and a couple of blocks. Okay, so First of all, all the gates work the same way. That is to say, you need pipes, and placing a gate on pipes will activate it, or at least add the capabilities to the pipe. So this is a an iron gate, which is crafted out of iron. We'll see that uh, in another tutorial. And if I click on this guy, I can see that there are very similar to the single gates, except that this time I have four slots, two input slots here, as well as two output slots here. If I just choose the top one, this is going to work just the same way as uh, the previous kind of gate. Uh, for example, here I want to send a redstone signal if the pipe is empty, which is the case right now, you can see that the signal is sent. Um, we're going to use some uh, obsidian pipe for the demonstration. See some interesting stuff. Now, what's interesting is that there is this uh, second. Let's go back here. Second line here. If I deactivate these two guys, I can use the second line just the same way as the first one. What's now interesting with these gates is that I'm going to be able to combine these two gates to do something uh, depending on both of the inputs at the same time. For example, if I had a chest here, if I go back to the gate, I'm going to have events related to the chests, this inventory stuff. And what I'm going to say now is send a redstone signal in the case there are items in the inventory. And send a redstone signal for the case there are items traversing. Now you can see that, as for now, there is neither traversing items or items in the inventory. So this redstone signal is off. Now, if I... Actually, let's get something else here. Let's say the inventory is full. It will be more interesting. Now, if I send objects to this pipe system, uh, you can see that this is activating, although only one condition is true. This is the condition that items are traversing. The second one is false, but that doesn't matter. And of course, when this gun falls, then the signal is not um, sent anymore. That works for both of these signals. That is to say, if I fill this chest up, okay chest is full. Now looking at this um, gate, I've got only one of the two conditions that is true, that is the first one, but uh, only one is necessary, 
to activate the signal and you can see that there is redstone here. If both are activated at the same time, this is a regular OR for those who know um, logic and you can see that both condition still triggers the output. So to summarize what this gate does is it activates the signal that is specified on the right hand part if either of the inputs is activated. In other words here I'm going to get redstone signal if the inventory is full or if there are item traversing. That's the OR pipes. Let's now see the other one. That's the end pipe. We are still working on the iron pipes. Uh, and let's activate the exact same events. So I'm activating the output if there are items traversing. Again, no item is traversing. As we expect, there's no redstone signal. And I'm going to activate the gate if the inventory is full. Now, the combination between the triggers, between the input, is different here. In the previous gate, I was saying if one or the other is active, then send the signal. Here, what I'm saying is that if items are traversing and if the inventory is full, then send the signal. In other words, I need both um, triggers to be activated uh, in order to send a signal. And as you can see here, there is no signal because only one is OK, the inventory full trigger. And if I want to have both, I'm going to need to send the second signal. And as you can see here, here we go. Both signals are activated that send the redstone signal. And when it's not the case anymore, when it's just one, then I don't get the redstone signal anymore. Uh, that's basically it. That's the way you combine two signals, two triggers in a gate uh, to do some basic logic. Might be a little bit uh, surprising if you're not used to gates uh, in regular logic, but again. Um, this is all very simple stuff and that actually can be useful uh, already in your mechanisms. Let's see in action uh, a usage of one of these gates, which is the OR gate, for the purpose of controlling an engine. I'm going to get a query. Um, let's do the full system actually. Um, I'm going to put um, of engines uh, as well as tanks and uh, let's put waterproof pipes to wire the whole system input and here we go so and obviously I'm going to need all of these guys to be here okay I think we're good. So here what I do is that I'm creating a quarry. I'm putting two engines next to, next to the quarry. I'm going to need a chest to gather all the all of the items. And then these two engines are going to receive um, some Um, fuel from here. Okay, and I need to set the input here. Good, and I'm using the magic bucket again, which, uh -huh. okay, is my mother trick. Uh, please stop asking questions on this thing. This is just a, 
a backdoor that I use to simplify the testing. Uh, it really has no interest in itself. Anyway, um, I'm going to use a combination of gate here to activate these two engines. Uh, first of all, I want to extract stuff here. And actually extracting from this uh, this tank has makes sense only when there is liquid in the tank. So I actually need just a single gate to perform that logic. Uh, so that's coming from the previous examples. And I'm going to say if there is any liquid in the tank, please activate the redstone signal. That gets sent uh, in this engine over here and as long as there is liquid in this nearby tank um, fuel is going to be sent to the engines. Now you may notice that I did not plan any cooling mechanism here. That's going to be a problem but uh, here is how I can work around this problem and I need to sleep because it's getting dark Do that very quickly. Okay, so what I'm going to say is that I want to activate these two engines only when they are okay. That is to say, they did not get um, yellow. I'm going to use an OR gate for that. And I'm going to connect one into each end of these engines. And click on this thing, I'm going to say if the engine is blue or if the engine is green then send a redstone signal doing the same thing on the other side like so and now I've got the guarantee that this signal we only be sent to the engines where they are not about to blow up and if they warm too much uh, then it's going to switch them off automatically. Now the behavior of these engines change a little bit in this version of Buildcraft. In particular if I decide to abruptly shut down the engine which is can, I can do here by removing uh, the output. As you can see there is no um, redstone signal sent anymore. Actually, I'm going to want to restart it. I'm sending the redstone signal again. However, uh, the engine cannot restart straight out. It is um, supporting some kind of a penalty, which means that if you abruptly shut down an engine, uh, you will not be able to restart it before some time. So you, you still have interest in having the uh, cooling system around it because this is going to improve the efficiency of the engine. However, using gates, uh, it is now going to be possible to have some kind of security mechanism avoiding for the engine to, um, to blow up. And as you can see here, uh, we've waited enough, uh, so the engine actually restarted. Uh, the penalty is quite low if the engine is cool, but if the engine is, is warm already, uh, then it's going to wait to cool it down before allowing to restart again. Anyway, uh, that was it for this second tutorial on gates, which were the end and the R logic gates. Uh, once again, there is much more capabilities to explain and describe, but that's it for now. Thanks a lot for having watched the video. I hope to see you soon, for example, uh, in the 103 gate tutorial video. But for now, bye bye.